Hello guys, this is Rage of Game Dev, and welcome to the next episode on Let's Make a Platformer in Love 2D. So, kicking things off right now, we're going to be working on actually making our map that we created in the last episode, right here, actually show up on screen. Okay, so to do that, um, we go into our tile, ma um, tile map ma manager. If you, if you, if you notice, uh, I've changed just about everything. I actually rewrote the thing and made it a lot more simpler. So yeah, this is what we're going to start off with today. So to kick things off, I'm going to I'm going to add this to the renderer. So let's say uh, render that add render and then self. Now this will probably like for you guys, um this will give you a uh, error message. What what I would do is I'd make a game loop and render a global so we can access them from anywhere. So once we've done that, make sure we create our draw function. So tlm colon draw. There we go. So right here we have a single dimensional array of tiles. What we want is a multi-dimensional array, a two-dimensional array that can show us that we can go, you know, I want the tile from x coordinate, you know, like one and y coordinate like three. You know, something like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get if we okay, so let's go into the map and look at the data that we can work with quite a bit. There's this variable called width and that's how many tiles that we've specified in our map editor. So what we want to do is say um, 4i is equal to 1 comma um, map dot actually we're going to use height then do and then we're going to say tiles into at index i is equal to a table end. So that is going to make it so it's multi-dimensional because for each index in tile it's going to make it another another table. Okay, so going down here, let's kick things off with, uh, with yeah, getting things started. So what we want to do is we're going to say for i, no, actually for y is equal to one common num, um, common num, not number of, but map dot height do. Um, next we're going to say for x is equal to one comma map dot width do. Okay, and let's end this down here. So how this works, if we look in here, we see that this data right here in this, uh, the, the ray data is all one dimensional. It's not surrounded by, you know, a, uh, another table. So since we're working with multidimensional, we need to somehow convert the two. So to do that, we need to, um, make a function called index. And this is going to be equal to y times map dot height um, plus x plus one minus map dot width then all that subtract or add one now what that's going to do is going to say it's going to take the x and y um, index right here from our loop it's going to turn it into x and y in this array here after that what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, say if data in at index is not equal to zero, then we're going to create a tile. So if we go up here, if you look right here, all the non tiles, everything that's not a tile is a zero. And actually a better example would be down here. So if we look very carefully, you can see all these twos where our solids would be. That would be, um, a tile. So let's save this and let's go up here. Next, we're going to create a function that will create a tile. And ne um, later um, on, we'll create a separate function for this, or a separate uh, class. But for now, we're just going to do it like this. And then quad. Um, I'm going to add width and height, just so we can make this really modular. Um, local tile. Whoop, tile is equal to a table. Turn tile. Next, we're going to say tile.pose is equal to require. We're going to use our vector2 class. Um, tools forward slash, whoop, come on up, forward slash vector2. And then we're going to say new. And we're going to put in x and y. And we're going to, whoop, whoa, what happened? That was kind of cool. I don't know what I did. Um, oh, okay, so, yeah, never mind. Um, control, I don't know. I guess I can't do that while I'm recording. I was trying to uh, duplicate it, but it wasn't working. It's making me draw. So let's say tools. 
this required again back to for this size new um, pass in this time width and height next we're going to say tile dot quad is equal to quad there we go um, and we re return it of course so um, I'm just looking at my notes right now okay so let's create our quad so if we uh, okay so if we look at the image um, that's not the image let's go in here images tile sheet we have all these quads and all separated by one pixel and the reason why I do that they separate them by one pic pixel is because OpenGL the uh, rendering software the rendering whatever that that love to uses um, it likes to oversample from images which means it grabs a pixel from the neighbor next door so sometimes you'll get these weird lines throughout so if you have weird lines in your game um, make sure to separate your tile sheet by one pixel so we need to have quad data so what that means is um, in our game we have to have a bunch of quads like uh, images so we want to separate this big image into little tiny fragments these little tiny smaller images and to do that we use love to these quads what it does is basically it, it's basically a data that says you know draw this little square from this big square kinda so we need to make a, an array of quads um, so I'm gonna say quad is equal to love dot graphics just to make this easier to um, to do so I'm gonna speed this up basically I'm just gonna I'm hard coding all the all the quad data that we need for um for this image and so yeah I'll be back all right and I'm back so this is the uh, the data so basically what this is is the x coordinate of the image that we want to get grab so right here this would be 0 0 that's the x coordinate y coordinate this would be 0 17 or 17 0 actually 17 on the x 0 on the y and so on and so forth all the way down so I just hard coded those in later we'll make a function that will actually do this for us um, the next parameter right here so that's x and y the next parameter is width height and the main image is size so I made it 256 by 256 all the way down now the, all this would be the exact same so down here when we actually create a quad let's do this um, let's actually create it. so let's say local Q is equal to quads and then we're going to say index or actually data index if you remember we grabbed the data from map.layers.data right here uh, whoops uh, that's not it never mind um, right here so yeah if we look right here this is the data table so the um, the data will actually correspond to the uh, the the quad that we want so that's the quad now let's actually create the tile so say self dot tiles um, dot y uh, x is equal to tile now the the x and y of this tile will be 16 times x minus 16 then y would be the exact same thing times y minus 16 um, next the width and the height which is 16 16 and the quad which is q okay so that's just about done we're just about done so let's actually draw all these out let's make sure we let's build and make sure we're all good um attempt index global tiles a nil value tile manager 41 oh look, self dot tiles make sure you add the self um prefix so next let's loop through all the tiles so i is equal to one comma number of self dot tiles do and let's grab the um x is equal to one so j is equal to one um self dot tiles i do now the reason why people use um i and j a lot is because i stands for index and j is just the next letter after that so it just makes yeah it just makes sense um so right here we're going to say if self dot tiles um um i and then j is not equal to nil then draw the tile because there's going to be a lot of nil tiles so we're going to say love dot graphics dot draw the image we have self dot image right here it's just an image i created so self that's this the sprite sheet that we use right here okay so self the uh, self dot image the quad now this is the quad so let's create a local tile 
go tile, but let's yeah tile. Let's go to self dot tiles. I J. So this would be tile dot quad. Um, looking at my notes, I'm gonna start making notes because because <laughs> last time I wasn't very organized. Tile dot pose dot x, um, and tile dot pose dot y. There we go. So yeah, there we go. This should render our tile map, and yeah, um, that's just about it. Now there's a, there's a little error right here, and we'll fix that later. But uh, for now, this this is good. This is all we need. So yeah, perfect. So um, in the next episode, I'm gonna actually make a camera and everything. But uh, yeah, this will wrap things up for this one. Um, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the next. Peace out.